Hey friends, welcome back to Carrie's Culinary Crafts, where we talk all things food. And today we're gonna to talk sour cream or Greek yogurt. Um, if any of you have seen my refrigerator tour right before we started this pantry challenge, um, I'll leave a little I card up here. Um, one of the things that I forgot to get from the store before starting this pantry challenge was sour cream or Greek yogurt. Um, I kind of use them interchangeably. Um, I like to use Greek yogurt. It has more protein than sour cream does, but they basically taste the same. So because I forgot to get it, I didn't have any, and I wasn't gonna go to the store to get it because uh, we already kicked off the challenge. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna need some sour cream. So I'm going to go ahead and make some sour cream myself. I have this sour cream powder here. All you do is you mix it with water and I have a little sticker on the back here that tells me how I need to mix it. Per five parts of powder, you need three parts of water. So that's all you need to do depending on how much you want. Just remember that ratio. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix them up here and then I'm going to stick it in the fridge. Now the longer that it sits and and sits in the fridge the thicker it'll be um, and just whenever you go to use it just make sure you mix it up a little bit and you're good to go. Okay. So in, in each of these little um, all of my containers that I have, I try to have a silica pack in it, which is, it's a moisture absorber. Um, it just makes sure like if it gets really humid in here in the summertime, which it does, um, this just sucks in all the moisture. So I don't have to worry about like um, too much um, moisture getting into your powders and stuff. And then I always keep one of these scoops in all of mine. This is a two tablespoon scooper. So basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take five scoops of this and then I will take three scoops of water and we'll see how much that makes and see if I need to make more. Now I'm probably gonna need quite a bit because I'm gonna make a Mexican lasagna uh, because one of the things that I pulled out for uh, that I needed to use up were these uh, corn tortillas and I have a whole bunch of them. So I thought that would be perfect if I just like make a Mexican lasagna. Now, in a, so I'm gonna need sour cream for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how much just a batch of five to three is gonna make five scoops of the sour cream powder. Four or five. Okay, there is five scoops. I have a feeling I'm gonna need more, but I wanna go ahead and just test it first. Let me see if I know. Okay, I have an extra scooper here, so I don't wanna get that one wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick in three scoops. my three scoops of water. Now I'm going to go ahead and give this a little stir. Now when you see things like I have a sour cream powder, I have blue cheese powder, I have butter powder and all kinds of different powders. And what those are, those are either dehydrated or freeze dried um, products. Like this sour cream here was actual sour cream and it was either dehydrated to get all the moisture content out or freeze dried to get all the moisture content out. So all that you need to do is just reconstitute it with water. And some things like I could have, if I wanted to, I could also reconstitute this with milk. It's not necessary. You really only need water, but if you wanted to, you certainly could. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and make more than this because this is not gonna be enough um, sour cream to make um, my Mexican lasagna. So basically it makes that same amount of the powder that you put in there. And if, as you can see, like the consistency isn't quite right yet, you know, of sour cream. Um, you will have to put it in the, the fridge and then it'll get a lot thicker. So I'm going to go ahead and put another five scoops in here and then three scoops of water. And I think that might be good. People would always ask me why would you have the powder when you could just buy it in the store well this is exactly why now obviously I don't have to be always doing a pantry challenge but if something would happen that I could not get to the store you know whether it being the really bad weather out there or disastrous situations or whatever um, I have something that I can use. Always have a backup to the backup. delivery okay now I am gonna go ahead and stick this in the refrigerator for a while so it thickens up and I will bring you back probably tomorrow and show you um, the finished product bye guys and here is the consistency after two hours of making the sour cream. You can see it's getting much thicker. It's still a little bit thin, so it will thicken up overnight. Um, but you could use it like this, or if you want it thicker, you can definitely add more also to make it thicker. But I'm going to go ahead and use it just like this.